Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hashraptor YouTube channel. Hope you're doing great. Today we are going to do some hash rate testing on this EVGA 3060Ti for the Win Ultra series GPU. It's a mouthful, let me tell you. We have it running on Hive OS and we're going to be testing some of the more popular algorithms, some of them that you all have requested that we had not previously tested here on this channel. So some of these algorithms actually are going to be new to me, so we'll put this thing through the paces and see how well it can do. And some of the algorithms, some of the more popular ones at the top of what to mind, uh, we recently tested on this NVIDIA 3060 Ti Founders Edition card. So I'm not going to retest those. There may be some slight variation, but I believe between the 3060 Ti models, it's going to be very similar. I will show you how this card matches up on Ethereum when we get started because that's the, the top algorithm that everybody's most interested in right now. Now before we get started, I did want to just go over real quick because every couple videos I get questions on this on how this is all set up. So you're going to see a couple results as we do the testing here. The first, you're going to see wattage measured at the driver or at the GPU, okay? not at the total system, not at the total system, and that is going to be because we have this GPU, this EVGA 3060Ti, isolated on this HP server power supply. Now we also have, going into that power supply, the riser. So the operating system, HiveOS, is going to be reporting what it gets from the driver, which is the GPU only, and then what we're measuring at the wall is going to be what's coming out of this power supply which includes the GPU and the riser. So at the wall, just to be clear, we're measuring the GPU and the riser. And how I have that set up, in case you're wondering, is I have this GPU only and the riser going into the HP server power supply, and that is coming over into one of these Tekken Wi-Fi switches. And if you've watched the channel, you know I have all my rigs up and running on these. It's how I monitor the power. It's how I reboot rigs remotely. They're low cost, pretty easy to, to get to manage. And it works on 220, which is a key for me. Now this, we've tested this before. It's very accurate at the wall. We've put it up with a kilowatt meter. So that's what we're gonna be using. And again, just pointing out that this server power supply is isolated on its own Tekken monitoring switch. I did move this NVIDIA card over to the EVGA ATX power supply, so it's not even gonna be in the mix. So the system power and this second GPU are isolated on this power supply right over here. Yeah, so that being said, there's some of these algorithms I've never worked with before, guys, so I'm really curious to see what we get. Now, I did wanna show you real quick, I know we are gonna move over to a desktop and do this, but this is how I manage all my rigs from a mobile device, mostly. I do it from the desktop some, but but what we're going to be looking at is this one right here, this GPU plus riser. That's the Wi-Fi switch that I have set up on there. And if I tap on that, you can see I can easily power it on and off. I don't want to hit that button. Uh, but down here we've got statistics, and I'm going to tap on that. And if you can read that, right here you can see that we are at 135.4 watts on the GPU plus the riser and that is mining Ethereum right now at somewhere around 61 to 62 mega hash. And we'll take a look at that a little bit closer when we move over to the desktop. Now, if you need to do some quick down and dirty testing like we did previously on this one, the driver is very accurate, but keep in mind it doesn't include the riser, but the driver for NVIDIA, not AMD, for NVIDIA is pretty accurate in Hive OS. Okay, folks, let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's get into some testing. Okay, here we go. We are on the desktop and we are looking from the web interface at the Hive OS management console. And you can see right here that we are in our solo rig that we just took a look at in the shed. And down here you can see my new EVGA 3060 Ti. And right below that we've got the NVIDIA 3060 Ti which we covered in previous videos. Both of them are running at a steady 62.45 mega hash. They're at 54 degrees Celsius, or at least the EVGA is. The NVIDIA is at 50. 
Fans are locked at 50%. Both are at 120 watts. Now keep in mind this is at the driver. So this is just the GPU. It does not include the riser or the power supply. Our core is set to minus 500, memory at 2800. And this might be a little high, a little bit aggressive. I get a lot of questions about this right here. You're perfectly fine running at 2000 or 2300 or 2350. And just remember guys, if you're in Windows to cut that in half. And here's a live view of the GPU from the mining shed. And this is also a live view of the outlet at the wall. Now I want to throw this in what to mine real quick. So we're going to change this. We've got 13060 Ti selected. We're going to change that to 62.5 at, we'll include the riser here. So at 138.1 watts at the wall. And let's calculate that. And this will help us decide what we're going to take a look at next. On Ethereum right now, we are making $4.54 after electric. Per day and if we scroll down the list here this is what I wanted to get an idea of definitely let's try to get to octopus however octopus has been up here at the top of the list and I'll be honest I have never mined it I've never mined octopus before so I think I want to give that a try Kukatu 32 Aeon we'll see if we can get to any of these others down here Zell hash all right so let me make some modifications to my flight sheet over here for Octopus, and we will get this up and running. So I will be right back. All right, so just as I was getting this set up here, I was noticing that for my 3060 Ti, it defaults with the Octopus algorithm that we should be getting 48 mega hash at 190 watts. And I thought I'd just point out real quick, right out of the gate, we are already at 47.38 mega hash and that's at 120 watts at the driver with the riser and the power supply we're at 143 watts here now the octopus algorithm i mentioned to you guys i don't know much about it so i honestly don't know if that's good or not i'll do some tinkering here in a moment just to see exactly what we can get to but i will check it out if any of you guys are mining conflux if you're a fan let me know let me know what you think of it in the comments below I would appreciate any insight you could give. All right, so for now, let me play around with this a little bit on the core and the memory, and I'll see you know, how much we can improve this right here. I'll be back in just a minute. After doing some reading, I found that Octopus is a memory intensive algorithm that's designed to be ASIC resistant, so good for us, designed for GPUs. All right, so I learned a couple things here. I dropped the core just like you would on Ethereum, for example, to minus 100, minus 300, minus 500. And actually that just hurt the hash rate a bit. So I brought that back to zero. We have the memory at 2400. And I noticed that this continues to respond really well to the power limit increase, bumping up the wattage. So right now we're at 160 watts at the GPU, at the driver, and then at the wall, we're at 181.9 watts on this GPU. And you can see we were able to get about 10 mega hash more out of this. Now it seemed like to me the best, maybe the middle of the road setting here for mega hash per watt is gonna be around 140 watts. But let's go ahead and punch this into what to mine right here. Let's, let's run with this 50. So we've got 56.74 at 160 watts. So let's change this. Wow, what to mine, yeah, it's way off put this at 180 watts and let's calculate that so that brings our octopus earnings right here if we were mining coin flux directly we would be at three dollars and 94 cents per day that is not bad folks look at this ethereum on this card four dollars and 68 cents after electric so all this talk of eips and moving to proof of stake We've got some other coins creeping up here that might be some nice alternatives here in the future. All right, so next, I have not mined Grin in quite a while. So this is Kakatu32. We're going to give a try here. Let's, uh, let's get this set up and see what kind of hash rate we can get. And by default, all right, so what to mine has us at 0 0.5. I believe this is still graphs per second at 190 watts. Okay, here we go. We are mining some Grin. And let me show you the flight sheet here real quick. Nice hash pool. So again, we're not scattering 
hash rate around the web. And I'm using G minor, although there are a lot of folks that are fans of B minor. You might want to give that a try. Right out of the gate, we are getting about 480 graphs per second. Temperature looks good. We're at about 119 watts at the driver or at the GPU. And you can see up here, if we include the riser and the power supply, fan, breakout board, we're at 138.4 watts. And it looks like, looking at these measurements here, that what to mine is also measuring in kilograms per second. So if I come over here to what to mine, and I check out the defaults for our card under Kukka 232, it's showing 0.5, so that's 0.5 kilograms per second at 190 watts. And right out of the gate, we are almost there. We are at 0.48 kilograms per second, or 480 graphs per second at 120 watts. So I am going to play around with this, do some tweaking, and I'll be back. Okay, so this has been running for a while. I've been testing core up and down, memory up and down. And this is where I landed. It seemed to be the best mix of everything, plus 200 on the core. If you're trying to get that power limit down, I did find a pretty reasonable result at about 140 watts. And we were at 0 0.52 kilographs, or 520 graphs per second. I think that's right. And uh, so over here at 160 on the power limit, you can see, look at this. Uh, some This is probably a little bit of a fluctuation here. We're at 170.9 watts at the wall. And let's go ahead and plug this into what to mine to see what our earnings look like. So 560 or 0 0.56 at 160 watts. 0 0.56 at 160 we would be making $2.56 per day if we were selling daily and $2.95 before electric. Just keep in mind on all these coins that are a little bit further down the list, all these coins that are pretty popular actually, that uh, you can mine them and hold them guys. You may have a different long-term outlook for the value of these coins. So just keep that in mind when we run these calculations, we're just looking at daily. So don't get, uh, don't get too carried away unless you are selling daily. We have not tested Aeon in a little while. Let's go ahead and do that. That's using the Equihash 210.9 algorithm. And let's come over here to our flight sheets. Now here's what I'm going to be using. We're using the coin Aeon, mining to our Coinomi wallet. We're using Aeon Pool and G Miner. All right, folks, we are up and mining on Aeon. And right away, we are at 312 souls. Temperature is 54 degrees Celsius. We're at 120 watts at the GPU, set in Hive, 138 watts at the wall. If we look at what to mine, you can see over here for Aeon, it's saying 370 souls at 190 watts. But let's see how close we can get to 370 souls by doing some overclocking here. Okay, so on Aeon, it looks like we've settled in at about 374 souls per second here. So yeah, 374 again. And if we take a look at our settings, we are at 150 on the core clock, 2500 on the memory, and 160 watts on the power limit. So let's go drop this in 190 watts at 374 souls per second. Okay, let's see where that puts us with Aeon. All right, we are at a dollar seventy-six per day after electric, or two twenty-two before electric. If you don't have to sell and pay your electric bill. All right, so that will wrap up Aeon, and Aeon is one of those projects that has quite a bit of a following. There's a lot of people that really believe in it, so it may be worth throwing a rig at. I don't know, up to you. But take a look at the project, see what you think. Okay, last up, let's try to mine some Zell. I haven't mined Zell. Gosh, it's been it's been quite a while. Let's try to mine some Zell. Let's see what the hash rate looks like. All right, so we are up and running on Zell, and I'll show you the flight sheet here real quick. We are using the Zell Cash pool because it had a US-based stratum and G miner, and right out of the gate we are at 42.8 souls, 55 degrees at 120 watts, zero on the core clock, 
zero on the memory and again 120 on the power limit. At the wall we are pulling 138.9 watts including the riser and the power supply. So they have Zell hash at 54.5 souls at 190 watts. Let me work on this and I'll be right back guys. All right, folks, so we finished up our Zell testing here, and where we landed was 46 souls per second on the EVGA card, and let me show you why we did that. So this is a little bit lower than what you saw in What to Mind. I would say choose either of the two. This is the efficient setting right here. You can see we're at 130 watts at the GPU, 148.5 watts at the wall. And again, we're at 46.1 souls per second. That's that's up from the 42.5 at 120 watts with no overclocks on the NVIDIA 3060 Ti. Our core clock on the EVGA is set to 150. Memory is plus 1000. I did play around with this a lot. And this seemed to be the most efficient setup right here. Now let me show you back over here in what to mind we were looking at Zell. So we definitely, we played around with this last night. We were able to touch this rate right here at 190 watts. And it's really just a preference for me. I, I like to run this uh, card at a lower wattage. I tried at 160, 150, and I just, it seemed to be the most efficient when you look at a soul per watt standpoint was 46.2, but you certainly could leave this right here. I hope you enjoyed this. I tried to hit a lot of the algorithms that you all have been asking for that aren't at the top of the list so that we could get some of these hash rates. Uh, if there are some other algorithms you wanna see that I haven't touched on, just let me know. I'm more than happy to try to test them anytime I can fit it in. And that's why we were doing this video today. Uh, we were going to test the EVGA card anyway, obviously, but instead of rehashing the things that we've done in the past, we're hitting some of these other algorithms. So again, I hope this helps. We will see you in the next video, Raptors. Take care. Bye-bye. Like